Let's go to the tech chief's office just down the hall. Okay. Always good to know that I can hallucinate guys who are on fire. Everybody just calm down. Hey folks, welcome to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in Syndrome. And we're down here on level 4. We gotta go to the tech chief's office to go and find uh, basically access to the shield generator room in some way. And to see who might have a key card. Now, there was a guy here last round, or last uh, episode rather. And um, he's gone now. So that's, that's fine with me. Let's go to the tech chief's office just down the hall. Okay. Always good to know that I can hallucinate guys who are on fire. Everybody just calm down. Do this. Let's get out of here, huh? Manage shifts. Who cares? Crew listings. Shield generator. John West. Okay, we gotta go to... Ooh. Okay, so now we gotta go to deck six. And go and find John West's room. Okay. Make sure that nobody's out here waiting for us. No wire tentacle faced goons. Okay. Let's just go ahead and just in case, just so that we don't have to go through that process. It's a small process, but I just want to make sure. Rotate our saves as good practice, just in case. You never know. And. Okay. Let's move on. It's live wires. We don't need to be part of that. And let's hoof it a little bit. Even though our guy, despite being an officer, uh, really doesn't do running and cardio very well. Okay. Here we are at the elevator. Now, somebody in the comments had asked how to get to deck one. Jesus. Uh, I don't know. They don't allow you to go to these decks until you go through the, you know, the process of going to the other ones. So, we have to go to deck six. There we go. And I'm assuming this is like the, the crew residential deck, right? Because that's where the crew quarters are. I can't imagine they'd be sitting and living around these like office spaces and labs. But uh, who knows? Uh, so let's... Whoa. I don't know if you guys saw. There was some... Th somebody. Something. There he is. Just beyond this door. Tip. You can move silently while crouched. Yeah, thank you. Try to create a distraction by throwing a bottle. There's only one bottle. And I don't want to waste the reaction. Oh, and he's got his back to me. Okay, let's, um... I'm not going to waste it right now. I'm assuming I have to go back in there. But let's just get out of his field of view as far as we can go. Okay, this right here. It's not as far as we can go, but like a nice safe distance, okay? Now, let's check the map. We are nowhere near. We're in the opposite direction of the crew quarters. But let's just check out what's over here. The observatory, the bar, the gym, the kitchen, the mess hall. We can check those out. Okay. Well, let's just uh, let's just quietly slink on over here in case that guy decides to take a little walkie. Okay. I feel like I feel comfortable enough standing up when we're in a different car, uh, in, in a different room. We are now in something next to the bar. Like a locker room of some description. Okay. Nothing here to pick up. Nothing here to interact with. Wait, what's that? What's that? Uh, nothing, but it's good to know that there are different forms of cabinets around here. Okay. A little... Billiard balls. Uh, we're we're still okay for power. Oh boy. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Let's play a game, and it did not end very well for this guy right here. What is this? Ami Dorsey and his orchestra, featuring Frank Sinatra. Nice. Earl Hines, jazz pianist. Okay. What else we got around here? I'm at uh, Samba de Orpheus, New Orleans. Okay, everybody calm down. I'm looking at... I'm basically looking at a bunch of posters from like a 1920 speakeasy, which doesn't make any sense on a spaceship, but okay. Al Jolson, the jazz singer, of course. Cab Calloway. 
Love Cap Calloway. Uh, awesome, awesome music. Uh, if you don't know, look up Minnie the Moocher, and um, it's awesome. I mean, he's great. He was he was a, a master. He had his own sort of band, like a big-ish band, depending on on how how large the ensemble was. And he was also the master of scat, which was awesome. Wait, can I? Can I go down here? This vent probably leads to the lower decks, but I can just use the elevator. No. No. What? Did, have you not seen what's running around? This vent is like a life's blood. We need this. Okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm, I'm angry now. No, there are monsters running around. Yeah, we can use the elevator. Sure, let's let's return to the central shaft where that guy is across the across the hall. Ugh. Ugh. All right, observatory. Hmm. Hmm. I pick up this bottle. No. You are not you. I hope that's not a message to me, although it would support the whole why there's all sorts of speckled nonsense all over my screen, which suggests that uh, I'm wearing a visor or something, and if it turns out I'm a machine, I'm going to be very angry. All right, here we go. Boggs X. Ooh. 31 of 51. January 16th, 2189. Okay. Went to the dock last night. <laughs> last night, as if we have nights here. I guess it's easier to stick to habits. Anyway, there I was, waiting for the dock, and all I could hear was screaming. Diaz was on detention again, drunk as always. Why is that guy still on the ship? And who was the genius that placed a jail right next to the medical bay? Right? We, we, we pointed that out last time. There's no reason for that detention center to be right next to the medical bay. But, uh, you know, look, whatever. Design choices, right? Okay, that light is disconcerting. None of these guys have lootables. Am I concerned about that? Only tangentially. What was that noise? Another body. Okay, I'm just looking for stuff now. No. Um, sure. Sure, we can have a foot right there. That's fine. And, oh man. Okay, my light's out for, for the first time ever, but... Holy moly. This guy. That was killed by somebody yank, like ramming a wrench through or a pipe through his ear, basically. Great. I'm gonna use a... Uh, sorry about that. We're gonna use a battery. Okay, well... No more messing around now. We need to go confront that thing with the tentacle face. Let's take a look at the map before we go over there, huh? There look to be vents. So, assuming that... 5, the kitchen, is what's across the hall... The kitchen will have food. Yeah, but I can take the vents. I can just... I, what I'll do is I'll create a distraction in the top right corner of 5, and I'll try and scramble through a vent. Okay, nobody cares about the door. Nobody cares about the door. Look, if we have to fight him, we're at full health, it's fine. Don't want to fight him. Or I don't have to have to fight him. Let's put it that way. Back still turned, back still turned. That's before we get too far. I feel like the... the... There's the vent. Perfect. The vent is right there. Let's, um... Okay, calm down, man. Shush, 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 And let it fly. Can't be distracted, like, by that little. Yep, nobody cares, nobody cares. Oh, I'm in, I'm in. Oh. Yeah, no. No, you can't find me, sorry. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, okay, so now I'm in the vent system. 
Now let's go to that little kitchen area, because let's see what's over there. I think it's this way. Oh, and I need a flashlight here. Oof. Of course, the last time I was rolling around, I was running around corridors, I had some crazy evil flashback in my face. But that's fine. That's fine. So we'll check out the kitchen and we'll slowly move to the crew quarters. Hopefully we'll get there this episode, but if not, you know, look, c'est la vie. But I do want to make sure we don't leave any stone unturned. Oh, there's food. Glorious food. That guy better stay there because... Because ain't nobody got time to fight him, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there's a torso. Freezer. We need a combo key, though. We need a key, uh, we need a combo for the, um, keypad. Get my food, pick up my food. Okay, there's six more slots left. Silent, sneaky, sneaky. Silent, silent, silent. Food, fantastic. Fantastic. This is like sandwiches to last us for days. Um, you know, the other guy's foot, or the, 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 the guy's other foot, rather, from the, the one we saw on the elliptical. Fine. Fine. That, uh, that looks like a head in the, in the pot, again. I am not going to judge cuisine. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever floats your boat and gives you the nutrients, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, we're back in the vent. We can... We can hightail it now. Let's just make sure. We're not going back to five, but we are going to the next area. And if I remember correctly, as we were approaching this point, that area looked like it was blocked. Fine. Uh, that means that that thing will be safely confined to this area, which really just means that when we come back to use the elevator, which we will eventually, because, you know, our guy here refuses to use uh, hatches and uh, passageways, because he's never played a horror game. Ah, nice. That guy's dead. Okay. Yeah, because that guy's never played a horror game, doesn't know how to survive around here. So, uh, we're going to have to return to the to the elevator. We're just going to make sure that that thing uh, does not eat our face. We just have to make sure that we remember that it's there. And probably, from what I saw, facing right into the corridor now. Which could be a problem. Anyway. Ooh. I do like that this thing is well lit. Or relatively well lit. Um... Oh. Everybody calm down. It's like its own room, right? Right. Nice. Is there anything? There's nothing. We got two more. Two more lockers. Okay. What the heck? Oh, jeez. I thought this was moving. I thought these were like eyes moving. It's just the light reflecting off the... Oh, I'm getting jumpy in this game, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. That's where it was blocked off. That's a safe station. Okay, so let's just explore this area first. Okay, let's explore this room first. <laughs> and then we'll use the safe station because that's how things work. Okay. Is there anything here for me to look at, review, interact with? Nope. That's fine. Perfectly okay. These things turning on and off sound so much like footsteps. It is terrifying. Alright, let's just use this machine. Go ahead and... Rotate safe, so now we're at the top. There we are, right? And I am playing this at around 2 a.m. Because that's the best time to play a uh, survival slash jump scare horror game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how? when else are you going to play it? Okay. 
Still nothing. Still just sort of atmospheric, interesting room stuff. Which suggests to me that we're going to be using these rooms to hide. It means that there's going to be something running around here that's, you know, willing to eat our face. That. That at all. Hmm. What a cheerful little commissary you guys have here. Bottle. Well, that tells me what kind of stuff is going to happen here. There's the garden is over there, the quarters are up there, and that's another garden area. I got the garden before we go to the quarters. Oh man, you guys. This is... This is creepy just to look at. Okay, I, I gotta read this. The rooms here are not so bad. This is a Luke A, 5 of 13. January 24th, 2189. The rooms here are not so bad. Most guys complain, but if, they'd, uh, but if they'd been stationed in a mining station like me, they would be really thankful. The only problem is the snoring. Boris from Tech sounds like a rail engine. I don't think I'd be able to sleep if I didn't have my headphones on all the time. Headphones on all the time aren't ex isn't exactly the healthiest thing to do, man. Uh, okay, so there's a robot, a bunch of people hung. So... It's unclear, I mean, did these people kill themselves to avoid getting turned into one of those things? Or one of any number of those things, rather? Really? What's on this end, just out of curiosity? Huh. What is this? Hold on. This doesn't look like it's on the map. It does not. Or it is not. Okay, so there's really nothing here. Fine. Well, let's go back to the garden area. Let's explore that big old room. Let's see where we go from there. I'm assuming, this is my assumption, that the way this game works is once we make a little progress, meaning we, we find the, um, like the, the access pass or something, once we find it, we will have triggered the next level of thing. No? No, okay, I guess Jimmy's gonna have to open it for us. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna trigger the next level of, of monster or whatever, and it's just gonna come right at us, and this seems like the perfect place. Maybe this thing's gonna It's another medical robot. Yeah, that's weird. It's weird, you guys. Okay, everybody just calm down. Everybody, just calm down. Um... I didn't hear any footsteps, that's why I got kind of quiet there for a second. Okay, so... We're not going to mess with that, because we're probably going to need it just by, just by the sound of the thing coming down. Uh, this area is pitch black. This is horrifying. This is... this is... I have to give credit here where credit is due, right? This game accomplishes a lot with a minimum number of monsters at the moment, because they don't need to throw it at you. Is this anyway? <coughs> okay. Oh my god, are these sound hazards? Yeah, I see that. Hold on. So if we're sneaking around, we gotta be careful, because if we get close to them, we're coughing, and that thing's like, oh, there's somebody coughing in there. I'm gonna eat their face. This will come in handy. Oh yes. Yes, it will. Like a marine. Good. Uh, no, let's use the old pipe wrench here. Uh, oh, this is where I see. Okay, this is where the, um, can't open that. And we can't move the boxes. This is where the vent would have come out, but it's blocked. Interesting. Maybe it's so that it's not 
too too easy so we can like if there's something running around up here we can't like dive into the vent and just go all the way to the other end maybe either way <laughs> nope we're going forward thank you very much right so they like right because it's group dormitory right Konakui, Rita Kisan, Kihon, rather, Zena Bulavari, Lentha Novari, Sean Wyatt, and Laura Murnell. I wonder if we're going to find our own room in here somewhere. Interesting. Ooh, okay, perfect. Battery. Uh, yeah. Is it just me or is the battery running low faster now that we're here? Weird. Family picture, the chairs. Chairs are going to be the death of me in this game. Mark my words, I will get hung up on a chair, and then I will just... I will just get eaten. And that guy clearly got dismembered in bed. State kit, photos of family and stuff. Oh, and I can't open those things. And there's a calculator, okay. Okie dokie, let's go check out one of those horrible corridors of darkness, eh? Pick, let's pick. Pick this one because, uh, there is this horrifying poster. Why do you have to look like that, man? Nova Corps Security Forces, attractive salary, benefits, package, travel compensation. What are you waiting for? Why do you look like that? You're f just, mm. We are in hell. Well, can't argue with that. If he lands in, Jose, Scarlett, Jared, Oxen, you know, no Willie Mark, okay? Val, Serta, Scott, Triffin, Vans, Sheena, Dominic, Brianna. Now let's go in here first. Okay, there's a hiding spot. That's great. That tells me everything I need to know about what's going to happen. There's a thing for us to pick up and read. Okay, fine. Nothing else. Alfred... T, 19 of 32, January 11th, 2189. Now I know why Galen's considered a hero. Hey, that's me. We were loading chemical crates today when a cable broke, dropping a crate over two guys. The alarm rang and the air inside the cargo bay was about to be expelled. While everyone panicked, Galen ran inside. Selfless and ignoring the fact that everyone inside would, suffer, uh, would suffocate in a few seconds, he was able to bypass security and free the guys. They're both alive and recovering. Well, that's nice. So, is that maybe why I'm so blasé? I'm just like, whatever, man. Par for the course. I'm super bad up in here. Anyway. I'm gonna call it there, guys. Uh, you know, we made some progress today. We, uh, got to, uh, we got to deck six. We are now looking for the quarters to get into the shield room. I'm assuming the moment we find the quarters, all hell's gonna break loose with something coming at us. And we've also got that thing in the kitchen. Uh... So, a lot to do, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, there's still going to be quite a number of interesting surprises and shocks along the way. That said, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, you know, it lets me know that I'm doing something right, lets me know that you want to see more of this stuff. Uh, if you think I'm overlooking something, if you'd like to see me do something else, if you have just general comments or creative criticisms, uh, by all means, leave a comment, everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better